And when I think back yesterday about how it used to be, I can't help feeling sad about what you mean to me. Why don't you look at me the way you used to do? G'day there. I haven't been here since the year 2008. Where's here? Um, Nicknack Mackinac Bridge. This is in Mackinac City, Michigan. I was last here with my mates Eric and Danielle. We made the best movie that I think I've ever made. It was called Bright Quid Pro Crow. No, I think it was just called Bright Quid Coffee. A great little film about an evil coffee company. Um, so the filming locations would be around here. It seems to have changed a little bit. Way more hotels than I remembered. There was two park benches, one that Eric sat on with his guitar serenading um, Danielle who sat ahead of him. So I think if luck is on our side, and maybe good weather, we may be able to find the location based on the bridge itself. Okay, with this shot of the bridge, I've counted the same amount of struts into the ocean, um, like pylons, 10. So we're in a similar location here. I can't see the second arch because of a fog. At least I hope it's a fog because I don't like bushfires. Brr. But I don't think it was shot right here with the chair that Danielle's sitting on or Eric because if you look this way, there's an ancient lighthouse. So the search continued. Could this be the same location as Danielle's dreaded Bright Quid coffee cup? The building's the same. I bet that that's the same tree. But if we are in the same location, this used to be an arched bench. So not the same wood. But, same location. We'll just go with that. So I think Eric's bench would have been around this area based on these trees that look similar, but not exact. There's no trace of any foundation that used to be here in the ground, unfortunately. Now, I wasn't expecting a plaque that said Bright Quid Coffee was shot here in 2008. Or maybe I was. It was a great film. We uh, shot it in the summer of 08. There was a great scene where Eric and I were waiting on the side of a road. We just chose some suburban road that had a cool, like, stone wall. And then in the script, it said a police car drives by. We didn't know how we are going to get that shot of a police car driving by. We are going to find a police car later and insert the shot. But while we were filming on that very spot, a police car drives down the very road we were on. Hit record, thank goodness. It's one of those things that if you project something out to the universe, it can come true. It's like you will it into being. That's been my experience. If you believe in something enough, if your intentions are good, you can achieve anything. I really love making this movie with my mates Eric and Danielle. Very good time. 
and I think it stands up. I, the original script was based in the future when Bright Quid Coffee had already taken over the world and it was just like people trying to leave their apartments without being surveyed. But then it was better to set it at the beginning of the conquering of the earth by this evil corporation. So maybe there's a sequel in it. Write to your congressman now. Being back here in the general area makes me feel a little closer to Eric and Danielle. Makes me almost wish I had an evil coffee company drink to partake in to celebrate my return here. But that was just a fairy tale. Yuck. Well, wasn't that great? Thanks for watching. Walk about as guide to Australia. Dry quid coffee shop. It's a dry quid establishment. We brainwash, we brainwash you. So watch out, you're being brainwashed. Dry quid is really cheap. I wouldn't complain if I were you. Come to Project Quid. We're going to kill you. Oh, watch out because you're being brainwashed. Brainwashed. Is a coffee with milk?